Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Dom Lovely, your source for all celebrity entertainment news from my point of view. Well, you guys, you know what? Russell tried to tell Kamorley Simmons that her husband was a fake and a fraud. Not sure if you guys have heard this story, but it is spreading like wildfire. Fire. And I, of course, have my own perspective on this situation. So I'm going to speak from the standpoint of Russell Simmons warning Kamorley Simmons about her now husband. And these two were actually never married. Really can't even call him her husband because he lied about the document, Tim Leisner. So if you guys aren't familiar, familiar with Tim Leisner, he is the former... Goldman Sachs banker who was accused of helping Malaysian financier J. Ho Lo steal millions of dollars from IMDB, which is a sovereign development fund, guys. And so this fund was started to help support the economic development in Malaysia. They started this fund in order to have different projects like areas of energy, real estate, tourism, and agribusiness and this was all to help develop Malaysia and Kamorley Simmons husband well her partner because they are actually not officially married he embezzled millions of dollars from this fund so not sure if you guys know this but Kamorley Simmons actually asked Russell Simmons for some money to help get her partner out of jail and so at one point, they were going into business to start a uh, water brand. Russell Simmons had to actually end up suing Kamora Lee for fraud and allegedly stealing stocks to pay for her new husband's bail fees. Well, you know, back in 2018, this is when all the money laundering happened and he nearly had to pay back $44 million to avoid jail time. In comes Russell. The Def Jam co-founder filed a complaint in which he claims that Kamora and Leisner conspired to fraudulently transfer almost 4 million shares of the energy drink company Celsius to their accounts in order to help pay for Leisner's legal fees and bail fees for a 2018 money laundering scheme, which is a scheme that I spoke about the one MDB project. So, you know that Russell and Kamora pretty much had a very cordial and friendly co-parenting relationship. Even after she had her son with that actor, I think his name is Dejmon, the African actor. They all were like one big happy family. And you would also see Russell with Kamora Lee and the children and her son. And so, Russell apparently agreed to... Well, he did not agree. He's saying that they actually stole this money from him to pay for um, her partner's legal fees. So we know Russell Simmons and Kamora Lee were married from 98 to 2009. And like I said, they have maintained a pretty friendly relationship ever since. In 2016, Kamora Lee and her partner joined Russell's investment company which is allegedly how these problems all began. In the filing, Russell says he quoted a letter he wrote to Lee in an attempt to reaffirm my 50% of the Celsius shares without getting the court involved. Throughout my entire decades-long partnership with you, I've done everything and anything to protect and promote our family. I have never said no to any request and have always gone against my own counsel to offer up much more than any judge would ever require of me in order to keep the peace. I am shocked and saddened to see how your side has behaved in response to my repeated attempts to get an agreement from you to rightfully and legally reaffirm my 50% of the Celsius shares, which have been locked up with the government after being used for your husband's bail money. So basically the government put a hold on Russell's portion of the shares of his money because of all of this fraudulent and laundering activity that Leisner has been involved in. 
Yeah, Kamorali, it appears that this guy is a fraud. He even stated that that he photoshopped the divorce document and said that he actually was still married to a Judy Chan. And the court did ask, did Kamora Lee Simmons know about that? And Leisner responded that she did not, which I find that very hard to believe. He also said that he tried to convince Chan, his real wife, to give him money for a home that he wanted to buy with Kamora Lee Simmons. Judy did not want to make any transfers related to my new family life in Los Angeles, Leisner told the jury, saying that he lied and told Chan that the money was for the uh, Malaysian project. It didn't work with Chan, he said. I think she did some research on the internet and found out that I was trying to buy this house. So Leisner wanted to appear like he was a big baller and had millions of dollars all to be with Kamora Lee Simmons and it turns out that he did not have the money and actually he was not even divorced from his previous wife so he has pleaded guilty of charges of money laundering and forfeiting 43.7 million dollars he and Kamora Lee Simmons are currently estranged and share one son Wolf Lee Leisner together Russell Simmons has his own issues that he's dealing with. Some say that he has moved out of the country to escape some charges of his own. However, he did tell Kamora Lee Simmons his concerns regarding Leisner and that he felt he was a fake and a phony. And he is currently still in the process of suing both Kamora Lee Simmons and her partner to get his money freed up from the shares in their beverage investment you guys drop down in the comments to let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe to my channel click that notification bell and we will chat again soon bye